An emotional plea tonight to help find a hit and run driver who killed a toddler in the city's Albany Park neighborhood. WGN's Christine Flores is live there now with more. Christine. Good evening. Throughout the day, we've seen people stopping by to pay their respects here at the memorial. In fact, the family was here this afternoon and they added balloons, flowers, and candles. And now they say their goal is to help find that person responsible. I cannot believe it. My grandson is the gun. I want justice for him. <laughs> Through tears, hugs, and support, family members gathered at the memorial on the 4500 block of North Pulaski to remember 15-month-old Hermes Reels Cardona. Anybody would see him in the street, in the park, you could tell that there was never a sad day for him. And to send a plea to the driver who struck him. Please, if you have any type of conscience or heart, please turn yourself in. According to police, the toddler was not safely secured in the back seat of a white Toyota RAV4 when he got out of the SUV and walked onto the street. Officials say a pickup truck then struck the toddler driving away from the scene. Hermes was pronounced dead at the hospital. My son Hermes was a happy kid. He was learning from his brothers. Even after coming out premature, he still fought to stay alive. Hermes has two older brothers and a baby sister. His baptism took place just last week. Just so you know, my son will always, when he says thank you, he would smile, like the biggest smile. And to remember him, I'm pretty sure everyone will remember him. He's described as a happy little boy who was loved by many. Oh my grandson, I'm going to miss him. He's so sweet. Police have released images of that pickup truck. They believe it's responsible for that hit and run. And at the time, it had a ladder tied to the top of it. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. You can also submit tips anonymously at cpdtips.com. For now, reporting live in Albany Park, Christine Flores, WGN News. Thank you, Christine.